If you want to learn Ansible and you want to do it in a hands-on way that will get you productive fast, you're in the right place. I'm Dave Cohen. I've spent the better part of the last 10 years in the trenches of the tech world as a system administrator, software developer, security analyst, and most recently, platform engineer for a tech company in Boston. You might know me from my Tutorial Linux YouTube channel, where my mission is to help people get started with Linux system administration. This course, Ansible 2 for Beginners, is the next step in that mission. Automation is a big part of what separates the great companies from the rest, and it also happens to be what separates the great sysadmins from the mediocre ones. I've seen a lot of companies and sysadmins struggle to build reliable systems that are easy to manage. On the one hand, I've seen companies with a total lack of automation. Obviously, that's terrible and painful. But I've also seen something even worse. Automation tools that are a bad fit for the job that they're asked to do. They're used in ways that create more pain than the problems they're solving. In a tech world that's often fueled by hype and advertising, Ansible is a real improvement. It's something that doesn't come along all that often. If you learn Ansible well, it will make you more powerful as a sysadmin. It's also really convenient because it ties together several automation-related areas that, until now, required separate tools to manage. With Ansible, you can automate your provisioning, deployments, configuration management, and orchestration. So you can save yourself the time it would take you to learn an additional three tools and invest it into getting even better at Ansible. Ansible is also a fantastically flexible tool that you can use to fill common gaps in existing automation processes. It's so easy to start using Ansible because it has virtually no requirements, just Python and SSH. You can literally apt-get install Ansible and run a single command and boom, you're managing some machines with Ansible. Whether you're managing five machines or managing 5,000, Ansible can make your life easier and make your systems more reliable. This course is a practical introduction to Ansible, designed to get you up and running as quickly as possible while still covering the fundamentals in a solid way. In section zero, yes, that's how computers count, you'll find out what Ansible is, which problems it solves, what you'll get out of this course, and what's required of you. We'll also cover some basic terminology and call out some of the features that are new in Ansible 2. In section one, we'll get you set up with your own local test and development environment. Since Ansible is a tool used to configure and manage machines, we'll set up some local containers which we can use to simulate our remote quote-unquote machines. We'll also talk about some of the basic issues you'll face when using Ansible to connect to your machines. Section 2 will give you all the basic knowledge you need to be productive with Ansible right now. Useful if you're starting this course and you already have a problem that you need to be solving. We'll cover basic configuration, one-off commands, and the almighty playbook which you'll spend most of your working time with. After viewing and practicing the skills in this section, you'll be ready to start automating your own projects with Ansible. In section three, we'll deploy and configure a real life web application, Mattermost, so you can see how all of this works in practice. This stuff is like riding a bike. You can't learn it from a book. I've tried to make section three as close as possible to the experience of sitting down with someone and having them walk you through a practical project that you can use immediately. And while you're distracted by all the fun you're having with that, I'll be teaching you about the powerful features that Ansible gives you. Roles, inventory groups, control flow features like loops and conditionals, and more. In section four, you'll learn about things that can make your Ansible code more performant, maintainable, and secure. We'll also take a look at debugging for those times when you need to figure out what's going on. Section 5 will show you how to integrate with cloud platforms like AWS and OpenStack. We'll take the real-life playbook we built in Section 3 and port it to run in the cloud. Well, on Amazon's AWS. I'll also introduce you to Ansible Tower, which is Ansible's commercial offering. So, that's the course. Just think, by this time next week, you could have all the practical tools and experience you need to use Ansible for complex automation tasks or just to deploy your next hobby project with a single command. So give it a try. I hope to see you inside.